Hi there! Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a beautiful free book cover for your self-published book in under 10 minutes using Canva. I'll be designing a line journal cover, but you can use this for a fiction or a non-fiction book as well. So Canva is a really amazing tool. It's super easy to use and I highly recommend it for anyone who wants to create their own book cover for free, but feels like a complete noob when it comes to design. So before we get going, you're going to need a free Canva account from canva.com and you're going to need some stock images either from a free or paid stock image website or you can use the free or paid imagery that you can get inside of Canva. Also, if you plan on publishing your book through KDP, you can download a cover template from their website. So before we get in here, we're going to download a cover template and we're just going to go to amazon.com and you can choose whatever size your book's going to be. In this case, I'm going to choose six by nine. Uh, I'm going to have a page count of 200 and I'm going to keep the paper color at white. So I'm just going to download that template and I'm just going to open it up and I'm going to want the PNG. Okay, so this is the book template. So what we're going to want to do first is just determine what our book dimensions are going to be. So the book dimensions are going to be your front cover plus your back club cover plus your spine plus the bleed. So in my case, I've got a six by nine book. So I'm going to do six plus six plus 0.45 plus two five and the plus two five or plus 0.25 rather is from the 0.125 bleed going all the way around. So for me, my finished book dimensions are going to be 12.7 by 9.25. So one more thing we're going to have to do here is Canva, we're going to need to upload this to Canva, but Canva only accepts images up to 25 megabytes. These PNGs that uh, that KDP spits out are I think about 30 megabytes so we're gonna have to reduce the file size. So if you're on a Mac like I am and you can just open this up in preview and you're just gonna to go to file and you're gonna to go to export and you're just gonna change that to a JPEG and if you're on a Mac you can just right click on that file open it up in paint and then you're gonna choose file save as JPEG and then you're good to go. So now we're going to head over to Canva and we're going to go to custom dimensions. Make sure it's on inches and I'm just going to pop in my dimensions. And create a new design. So first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to upload our template. So we're just going to go to Uploads, and I already have mine uploaded from earlier, but you're just going to click Upload an Image, and you're going to just upload that template. You're going to click on it once, and that will place the image into your artboard. And we're just going to want to resize that so that it fits nicely. And you can go to Position and click Middle, and that'll just center it for you. All right, so I'm just going to lock that so that it doesn't move. And now we can start uploading our images. So again, you just want to click on Upload an Image. And if you've got an image you've already downloaded, downloaded previously, then you can just upload it here and place it. Or you can check out the free images that Canva offers. So if you just go to Elements, there's a section here called Free Photos. You can just kind of scroll down there, see what you like. Um, whatever you like, you can just click on and it'll pop onto the artboard. And again, you can just resize that any way you want. You can grab a side and just kind of cut it off. Like if you wanted to have one image on the front cover and, you know, place another one on the back, you can do that. however you want to do it. You can also rotate images 
by clicking this here. So anything you want to do with your images is, is just fine. What I'm going to do, and this is an option for you as well, is you can click on background. And there's some really nice free backgrounds here. You can see lots of stuff. So I'm just going to pick one. Pick that one. Now I've clicked on it. You can't see it because it's a background, so it's gone behind my template. So I'm just going to unlock that. And I'm going to turn the transparency off for now just so I can actually see what's going on and then I'm going to lock it again. So this is my nice background here and now I'm going to want to lay some text over top. So I'm going to click on text. And this is a really great feature of Canva. It's got all of this beautiful typography here um, that you can just choose from. So this takes a lot of the guesswork out of um, you know, creating typography that actually looks good, which I think is a big challenge for most people who aren't really, um, you know, design minded. So I'm just going to keep scrolling, see what they've got. All right, let's just pick something here. So obviously we can't see that. So I'm just going to click inside and I'm going to change the color. Just make it white so it stands out. If I wanted to play around with the type uh, with the font, I can just click that and I can choose anything from this drop down menu. I'm going to leave it as is for now. And what are we going to call this? And just go with our leaf theme there lined nature journal. You're probably going to want a title that's a little bit more exciting than that, but this is good enough for now. And what else can we do here? I think I might want to try out a border or something like that. So let's see, we've got shapes. And you can see they've got all types of stuff, photos, grids, shapes, charts, lines, illustrations. But I'm just going to go into shapes. I think I'd like to put a border around my type. So let's just see what they've got. Perfect. And we'll just resize that. It's kind of nice. You can use your arrow keys to resize as well. Looks about good. So that's going to be my front cover and whatever you want to put on your back cover too. You could add a type description if you want. So you can just click on any one of these heading, subheading, body text. You just click once and then you can just move that around and uh, do whatever you want with it. I'm not going to use this on mine, but you get the idea. Um, if this was a fiction book, you could upload an author picture, something like that. Um, if you're doing a journal like me, you might want to put, um, you know, like a little logo or something down on the bottom. So you could upload a logo that you already have pre-made. Or again, you could just use some of this nice typography here. Uh, we'll just choose whatever, something like this. Again, we'll just change that to white. So we'll just call this beautiful lined journals. So we'll get rid of that top type here. We don't need that. Just make this white again. And just to make it line up, I think I'll increase the size of that. Maybe a bit more.
There we go. Now I can just resize that by dragging the corner. Let's move that down in the bottom. So lastly, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go back to our template. So I'm going to unlock that again. And we'll just increase the transparency and see where we're at. So I'm going to lock that again so it doesn't move. Now I want to move this border and the typography here together as one unit. So what we can do is we can just select both by just clicking and dragging. Now we've got both selected. And I can just use my arrow keys to just move that exactly to where I want it. That's great. Take a look at the logo down here. Maybe I want that a little bit smaller. But we can see that's within the safe area. Nothing's covering up the barcode. And the last thing we're going to want to do here is just to get rid of our template. So I'm going to unlock that again. It's already selected, so you can either hit the trash button or just delete. So now our line journal is done. And this is our file name here, so we'll just change that to line journal. Then we're just going to hit publish and download. And it's going to suggest the PNG, but you're going to want a PDF print if you're doing a physical book. So we're just going to click that and download. And there we have our finished print ready journal cover. So that's it guys. Thanks so much for watching today. And if you're interested in learning any more about my process for creating and publishing low content books like journals and planners and things like that for sale on Amazon, you can download my free guide, Three Steps to Publishing Your First Low Content Book in Less Than a Day by clicking on the link below. Thanks guys.